This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helvin. Cheers, made my heart. You guys, we are in not only the same room, yep. we are in the room. We are in uh, the back room, mm-hmm. which does tend to look like it was AI generated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just out of I mean there's just so much shit back here right now it's we're truly hanging on by a thread no it's great it's cozy I feel comfortable well because I lit a pumpkin cheesecake candle pumpkin cheesecake candle wow I, I don't even remember buying that uh, it's no not even that pumpkin cheesecake cookies that's that's I went just... to Target hungry <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to Target hours before my period started what's the difference in smell between pumpkin Pumpkin cheesecake cheesecake and pumpkin cheesecake cookies i don't know maybe there's like more vanilla i don't know i don't seem i've never had a pumpkin cheesecake cookie that feels like actually it feels like it'd be more of a bar right a cheesecake bar i went from loving it to being suspicious okay in two seconds oh the constant grace emotions Uh, you guys i'm back from north carolina yes the back house is not nine thousand degrees because it's winter in la uh, well everywhere (laughs) on this hemisphere (laughs) and so we're back baby we're back and i gotta say i am so excited that you're back yes me too. and i am a bit uh, starstruck because you guys i just met a new creature that is you know a um a <sighs> member of Mamrie's a new member of Mamrie's household you guys this is the biggest thing to happen to me i i i, I don't even know how long this is huge this is this is huge this, this is you take the judging the ugliest yes. dog contest yes. and you amplify <laughs> that you give that experience some cocaine mm-hmm. and then <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we're starting to get to the level of excitement that we have about this new situation you give all the world's ugliest dog contest contestants and you cocaine bear them you cocaine bear them <laughs> and then, then we're here <laughs> um yeah what grace is referring to if you have not uh seen on my instagram at Maytown is that Chip and I adopted another dog. Ah! It's so surreal, Grace. It's fucking weird. I it is I was sitting in my car and had to like do a couple like deep breaths before I came in because yeah. I was so nervous. Oh. Cuz you guys have been talking about yeah. this and you've been like passively looking online yeah. here and there. The the process has been because Chip wanted to get a dog that could go on the road with him. Yeah. So like that's a very specific set of behaviors and right. like and personality and whatnot. Um but we so like I had beans for years before like Chip and I got together. So right. like beans obviously is my friggin' girl. Yeah. You know, she's obsessed with Chip, but yeah. she's my girl. Yeah. So we wanted to find someone that could be like Chip's little bud. Yeah. That all together we all have a great time. Yeah. You know? Um, but it just we would never find the right one because we would go on Pet Finder mm-hmm. and we had a couple different hacks. Okay. Because we'd put in they can put in coat and you'd put in hairless. Okay. But sometimes people wouldn't put that in so then we just so we'd look up hairless Uh but then we'd get out of that and then we'd look up just specific breeds that are hairless so we would like we like knew the system to like be like new ones will pop up right 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 and probably like once uh every let's say six to eight weeks Mm -hmm. chip would and i would be out we'd be having a cocktail and he'd say we got some new one (laughs) And we would sit there wherever we are having a drink and looking at the the new hairless dogs that pop up, which are rare, man. Right. There's a there's a little hairless dog called Little Beans Uh. that that mother that poor thing has been in Alaska for six months. No one's adopted it. In Alaska. In Alaska. They took this dog from Mexico and put him in Alaska. Well, that's just animal cruelty. Report that. (laughs) It's crazy. But so we always look and it would be like, oh, this one's great, except he's incredibly aggressive about food or we just knew that we needed a dog to be chill because we have tiny beans Mm -hmm. she is um a mature woman and she's number one she's number one right i mean like forget it yeah and um we just don't want anyone fucking with her right with her status with her her, size. her legacy yes. with her uh physical body yes. all of it all of the the, the neck that's the size of <laughs> a chinese finger trap um but so we or they would just be too far away right so i'm not a person who's like yeah let's fly to alabama to meet a dog that 
Yes, you, you are. You I are. Am, I am. <laughs> Within but, reason. But with ticket prices these days, yeah. don't get me started. It's not as easy as it sounds. It's not. And so for me, it's more just like I would hate to go that far. And then you automatically put that pressure on you where you're like, you're already going to make myself to, like this. Dog. Yeah. I'm, you're convinced that the money has to be worth the. Yeah. The yep, dog. Exactly. So we found one. We were in North Carolina. We're literally look. We're having a glass of wine. Classic. Looking over Pet Finder. And this little guy, Batman, pops up. His name was Batman. So and, always, yeah. And the ears uh, <laughs> told the story. Yeah. He's a little rich orphan. His parents <laughs> were killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, he's a vigilante at night. Yeah, I get it. You know it. Have you looked at how this dog sleeps through the night? Uh, yeah, <laughs> What exactly. does he get up to? <laughs> but so I was like, this one's in San Diego. You know what, Chip, I'm just going to apply. Mm-hmm. And then when we were at his family's house in um, Georgia for Thanksgiving, I got an email on Thanksgiving that was like, <gasps> We chose you. Would you like to Zoom with Batman and his foster? Oh, my God. Because this is, you're assuming that these applications just kind of go into the void. And, yeah. like, who's actually going to, probably hundreds of people are applying. When are they going to see mine? This Absolutely. isn't like sliding into a DM. No. Or, <laughs> or it's like you're sliding into the DM of a celebrity. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. They, like, they're not going to check that shit. Right. You know what I mean? And and I just feel like people get, they get so many applications. Yeah. It's like, oh, f- whatever. Yeah. So I was like, oh, my God. We could, we could zoom and like see this thing in real life. See if we're being catfished. What's the deal? So we come back from Thanksgiving and it was that Sunday and I get like a follow up that's like connecting us with the zoom person. Mm -hmm. And I outright was like, look, we're in North Carolina. We're not going to be back for a week. So I understand if like you need to get Batman homed before then. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's so weird to just say Batman so seriously. Yeah. Batman home before them. And they were like, no, it's all good. Um, and we went and got brunch and we came home and we Zoomed with this little dog <sighs> and Jenny, the sweetest foster of all time. Uh. And she was just like, he just sat on the desk and just looked at her and looked forward. And she was like, he doesn't play with toys. He doesn't care about other dogs. He just wants to like be on the couch with you and we were like that's beans and then like literally she's holding up this dog we're holding up beans and we're like showing them off like we're at, like it's like an episode cattle. of black mirror <laughs> these two dogs yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. each other through the screens yeah <laughs> so everything she's saying is perfect yeah. and we just get off i just get off the zoom and chip and i look at each other and we're like uh are we getting a dog <laughs> Are we getting this dog? And so it was, he had to still drive home from North Carolina. Yeah. I still was like visiting, coming back. And then essentially, you know, the woman talked and she liked us too. And they were like, if you'd like to come meet Batman with the intention of bringing him home on Sunday. In so- a different context, that's Elliot's like dream dream, sense. Dream. <laughs> dream. So, uh, because, and he was named that because the little kid of the Fosters, like he, he was like, his, his shadow looks like Batman's mask. Oh, his ears. Yeah. It's I crazy. It. So we've got beans. His shadow is baby Yoda. Yep. And then, ah, uh, but yeah. <laughs> the sci-fi franchise, right. But with his crazy, so he's way more hairless than beans as yeah. you saw. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's one, a little bit bigger than Just I, the teensiest, a t- little tiny bit bigger. Um, and he truly has larry david hair like yep. it is so that's what we named him you guys we <laughs> named him larry david <laughs> well, was this a name that came to you after seeing the dog or you had this locked and loaded before and you were just finding the dog for the name no when i said to chip uh the foster can zoom with us tomorrow yeah. he said well if we get that dog we're naming him larry david <laughs> and i said absolutely and you know we like tossed out other things yeah because that- chip had a uh, joke before he's like if i get another dog i'm naming him dale so we're chip and dale <laughs> i think he realized as a very not disney person that that would only cause him to be fielding a lot of yeah. weird disney people <laughs> talking to him yeah. you know it'd be like get a load of this marge this kid's Chip and Dale. No, we talked about Skeeter. We talked about Biscuit. We talked about uh, some things. But Larry David it was. Uh, and so now he's, uh, we he's went. Here. We went to outside of San Diego. I mean, I felt like yeah, I was getting on stage for the first time in 10 years. I got a text from you over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Mamrie's been a little quiet online. Like, I think they maybe they're doing something or like there's some energy that I feel that's like they're scheming something they're scheming. I don't know what's going on. And then I get a text from you that's like 
five photos <laughs> saying we might get this dog and we're gonna name him larry david <laughs> and i was like i'm like computer <laughs> sending emails being like oh, what what <laughs> what uh-huh <laughs> it came out as fast i mean literally this time last week chip was driving through tennessee on the way home you and I w- had finished podcasting yeah. and I was at a parade, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then now we're back here. We've picked up a dog. We're acclimating. But, okay, so I want to know, yeah. you Zoom with this dog, which is Zooming with the, you know, foster person. Who is just so, so sweet, yeah. And then you're now you're going to pick up this dog, which I kept saying is like, you're getting married at first sight. It does feel like that a little bit. It's overwhelming and I'm over dramatic. Like I, I'm not a person. I'm a spontaneous person who doesn't actually like change. Like I'm a yeah. person who's like, I'll go on this trip. I'll go do this. I'll think of that whatever. But when it comes to like making big changes, I've yeah. rented this place for seven years. You right. know what I mean? Like I'm just not like a life change person. This isn't like a weekend that you spend with a dog and then you leave the dog and you come home. No, no this, this is, is like, this is a permanent fixture in your life. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, and I would, I looked at Chip and I was like, I have so much anxiety. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. So we go to this rescue, which I thought was just going to be like any other building you walk up to, you know? Right. No, it was a farm. In the middle of nowhere, we were greeted by 10 goats. <laughs> the greeting goats. The greeting Classic. goats. I mean, we went down the most fucking weird ass dirt road in the middle of Ramona, California. Whoa. God bless. A uh, shout out to the barking lot. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I thought it'd at least be paved with a name like that. <laughs> no. We show up, I go, there's goats. There's pigs. <laughs> it's just like... What is happening? Batman is living his best farm life. Oh, so so we're waiting for the foster. She's bringing him. And she has already said, like, I I kind of don't want to bring him back. She yeah. was like, if we'd waited one more day, she would. they were, like, in love with this dog, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And it was her first foster dog. And she Oof. was like, my son, he sleeps with my son. Like, he's in love with him. Yeah, like, tough. there's, there's going to be tears. Yeah. That's what she warned me. She said, just so you know, there's going to be tears on Sunday. I was like... Well, that sounds like a you problem, yeah. ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's so funny. Um, she straight up when we, we Zoomed with her a second time. Okay. Because they were supposed to like look around the house, you know, to make sure. I had sent pictures and videos, but right. just to be like, I'm not catfishing you. This right. is where the dog will live. And she was like, I trust you. I just want you, you, need, you to see Batman again. And we we're doing that. And she's like, okay, no, I got to get off here. I have to have a glass of wine. So I brought her a total wine gift card for a hundred bucks as a thank you. I Nailed was like, it. go so get smart. some wine, honey. So smart. Go get some wine. Um, but anyway, move. he comes around the corner. He, we hear her mm-hmm. voice because we recognize it from the Zoom. And yeah. Chip and I are like, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. And Beans is with us because... Yeah. I think it's very smart. They have you meet the other the dogs yeah. you need to meet. And we're like, here he comes, here he comes. He was tinier than we thought. Oh. So we were like, oh my God. As soon as I said, he's smaller, he's coming home with us. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe. He's like an inch taller than Beans. And it was just like so sweet. Uh, and he's in the back seat with Chip. I drove front seat with Beans. And yeah. we, me and Chip were just like, we're bringing home a dog. Uh, what is happening? But I, a uh, public service announcement because I've gotten a million DMs. Mm. Beans is fine. They literally ignore each other. Oh, I just got to experience it. <laughs> Beans has a little, the tiniest little smidge of like, not jealousy, no. just like a wanting everyone to also know she's here. Oh, well, that's the thing is I'm being like overly yeah. like beans, 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 yeah. the best <laughs> in the world. And like today we came out here to work and it was just me and beans. And yeah. like uh, like last night, uh, Chip went and saw a few friends to meet Larry. And I was like, well, we're having a girl's night, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going crazy. I'm like new. I'm like step momming out where I'm like, D- love me still. Beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so it's been really good. It's just a, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's a new normal. I mean, <laughs> and I don't know if you said this, Larry's. Oh. Um, this Hairless. is what blows my mind. No, that Larry's rescue situation oh, was that yeah. he came from a house of seventy-two dogs in one house. Oh my god! It was an eighty-year-old lady who had all the dogs. Which, like, uh, we we put up the video online. I got the shelter to send it to me. Yeah. Which, like, the dogs were they looked clean and like cared for, yeah. but like. An 80-year-old woman doesn't need 72 dogs as she gets older with no help and, like, 
That's so. I mean, to buy seventy-two dog food for that amount of dogs that's what on I'm a saying. weekly basis is like that's got to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. I know. After the end of the year, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And so this rescue basically got fifteen of them. So they like divvied wow. up the dogs amongst different rescues because like seventy-two dogs is more than a rescue has in general. And this was just one. So we were oh nervous. God. We were like, maybe Larry will be like really territorial about right. his food and this and that. No, that dude, he's he's, he's fuck. so naked with crazy hair. I love him. He's got big bunny ears that <sighs> turn to the side. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. So really big life update. But it's perfect Huge. because we've been saying Larry Christmas because <laughs> <laughs> because we always travel. We always travel over Christmas. And this is the one year we were like, I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. And then like, it's perfect because we can just nest with this little guy. Oh my gosh. And bond with him and do our thing. Oh, he's going to have the best Christmas ever. He's so friggin' he's sweet. So cute. So cute. Oh. So cute. I cannot wait to see how you guys all get on with each other. Thank you. He's already so sweet. And Chip's already trying to teach him the tricks that you know it. Beans knows. You know it. So it's <laughs> Beans is, I mean, Beans is just like, I see a tree. Automatic high five. Auto- I mean, like, <laughs> Beans is shotgun. Like old school pro. Just be like, boom. And I'm up, up. Okay. And high five. And I'm down. And I'm this. Here you go, Larry. Let me see what you got. Yeah. Beans comes out, fully just does a tap dance routine. Step kick, step touch, and leaves. Done, and Larry's done. like, I should just get it because I'm existing, well, maybe. I was with 72 other times. Right? He just wants to sleep. So I'm glad you got to meet him because it's like so almost, it's like nerve-wracking. It's like, do you like my cute new thing? It makes it more real. Yeah. It's very much more real, and it's it's so great. You guys have been talking about this forever. I know. Chip was texting me from the bar last night and was like, he's doing so great. <laughs> the fact that Chip like, took him to the bar yeah. immediately. I was like, Chip is really just initiating him. You gotta acclimate him. He's gonna be a little set dog. You so. gotta sink or swim, Larry. Oh, and I'm Larry gonna, is swimming. He's swimming. I'm gonna come to set and visit and be like, look at Larry on a walkie-talkie. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be Larry and Taffer uh, talking to each other about Crappy. what the next move is. He's just over there, like, did he sign a release? <laughs> okay. Y'all have already heard me talk about how much I love Native. The thoughtful formulation behind all their products is something that I have always loved because they understand that it's not just what's on the inside that counts, but also the outside. And that's why Native is releasing their deodorant that I know and love in new and improved plastic-free packaging. Mm -hmm. Native is doing their part to help our earth with their new 100% plastic-free and recyclable packaging. So when you buy Native's new plastic-free recyclable package deodorant, you are saving 37 grams of plastic, okay? Native is also a proud partner of 1% for the planet and are committing 1% of their plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental profits. Just like all of Native's other deodorants, and P.S., they have all their holiday ones out now, which are so good. I'm talking sugar cookies mistletoe, spiked eggnog, and even hilariously lump of coal deodorant. So funny. But anyway, their plastic-free deodorant is aluminum and paraben-free, kills odor-causing bacteria, and has 24-hour odor protection to keep you feeling and smelling fresh at all those holiday parties. With Native, you can choose from their fun, uh, release limited release ones or their classic 10 cents like coconut and vanilla sensitive formulas that are formulated without baking soda and even unscented that's right people won't even know you've entered the room so ready to try plastic free deodorant go to native do.com slash tmgw20 or use promo code tmgw20 at checkout to get 20 percent off your first order that's native do.com slash tmgw20 or use promo code tmgw20 at checkout for 20 percent off your first order Let's talk about athletic greens. I've told you guys before, I have started taking AG1 almost every morning because it is truly the easiest way to get nutrition into my morning routine instantly. It is the best option for easy, optimal nutrition out there. You take one scoop of AG1 and you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. The blend of ingredients supports your gut health your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All of those things... 
or things that I could use support on. And this does it. It's sustainable routines. Those are key. AG1 is a micro habit that makes it easy to absorb key nutrients, lead a healthy lifestyle, and feel your best no matter what the day holds. It's just one scoop, one minute, once a day, every day. And I use, they have little travel packets that you can put in your bag with you. It tastes, honestly, it looks really green, obviously, athletic greens, but it tastes super citrusy and really nice. And honestly, after the first like week of doing it every morning, I craved it in the morning and and now do. So I guess I'm healthy and better than everyone else right now. So... <laughs> Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. That's what I do first thing in the morning. Uh, no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Those are clutch for me. All you have to do is visit Athletic Greens dot com slash tmgw again that's athleticgreens.com slash tmgw to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance so anyway what did you adopt while i was gone oh <laughs> uh, nothing no i was sick all last week so oh. i'm finally feeling like better um but i had just oh, like i saw you make soup i made soup like four times last <laughs> week that's where i was at tis the season i didn't get a flu shot this year i gotta go get a flu shot uh that's on my to-do list because Wait. everyone's getting sick right now and so Dude. it just like it was enough to knock me on my ass of like i can't do anything yeah i'm too tired i'm not sick enough to like really be tragic thank right. god but i'm sick enough that i'm like i it'd be dumb of me to try to do anything significant right now well i also feel like just that energy suck and like i just want to eat soup and watch tv yeah. it's just the vibe post to thanksgiving anyway totally also it was um super rainy and overcast in los angeles last week so everything was in my favor be lazy listen yeah. since we got larry uh, <laughs> i've truly you would think i brought i am postpartum took home a newborn and i'm That's like so i was truly like babe it's like the week between christmas and new year's like we don't need to do anything no, but all. nest with this dog Absolutely. and it's like i actually have a lot of things to do no. um <laughs> shit i was talking to my mom yesterday i was like oh yeah i'm gonna see mamie she's back in town um her and chip actually and I like paused and I was like, they got a new, another dog. Mom was like, I thought you were going to say they got married. I was like, no, 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 no. You no, set sorry. the bar. I shouldn't have paused. I don't know why I paused. <laughs> <laughs> they got another dog. <laughs> because to my family, they were like, holy, you know what I mean? Like, that's the biggest, L little Miss Mamrie, who doesn't do anything grown up, was like, oh, my God. You know, for you, yeah. you're just like, by the way, guys, I just graduated from grad school and I, I eloped in Vegas. And I'm like, you're not going to believe this. They got a dog. I got another it's... tiny, very easy to take care of dog. It's got less hair than me. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that thing, like Larry feels freshly waxed. Larry feels like, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Larry feels, because, I guess if you closed your eyes and you've had him, but because. His belly, his belly. Yeah, his but skin. because he looks like an old man's skin with liver spots and like yeah. little wisps of wisps. gray hair here and there that it's just like, he looks like Larry David. Like, he looks, so it's like, I, the weird thing my brain does is like, you're petting what probably would feel like to touch Larry David's actual head. Yeah. <laughs> so like, just, every woman who's played Larry David's uh, lover yeah. on that show has experienced what touching our new dog is like exactly yeah so the name <sighs> is absolutely appropriate uh, wow but you already had a big week before you even went to yeah. consider getting larry david oh in my your guys' lives i know last time i talked to you, you were like you said heading to a small we town parade yeah we were parade. checking out of our airbnb chip was probably driving through like memphis at this time yeah that motherfucker drove cross country in two and a half days I mean, I get that Chip is really capable, but he's got to slow down. He's got Larry to live for now. Okay? No, he doesn't. He doesn't speed. Ten, uh, he uses cruise control. He never goes more than 10 over. But he truly, he drove like 
two 14 hour days. Wow. And the, and day three was only five hours. Cause, mm-hmm. and I said to him, I go, he was like, I think I'm going to go like three more hours when I was like, are you sure? He goes, I'm getting a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I, was just like, I guess that okay. will, yeah, that'll make you drive through the night I for sure. I was fully just picturing him, Celine Dion music <laughs> video. I drove all night to get to, to get to, and like a picture of Larry pops up. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. <laughs> um, but no, I was on my way to a little suburb of Charlotte, Belmont to yeah. go spend one more night with my friend Ashley and then they had their little parade right yeah yeah yeah. so I got downtown like five minutes before it started parked illegally at a church and then started like walking downtown and of course like I'm on the opposite side of her and you know small town local police are being like you can't cross you can't cross and I was like can I please just cross after the SWAT the the SWAT team Hummer it's the parade route yeah (laughs) yeah yeah. yeah. (laughs) I was like don't make me be stuck so they let me across and I meet up with Ashley and it's like her and her you know as we said redheaded child yes Uh, one of many legendary now he's like five or no he's six he's in first grade and then they also have she's four and they're just so cute and like he's ready for candy you know Yeah, yeah first of all they didn't know that I was about to get a dog he's wearing a batman christmas shirt so yeah all the signs are there synchronicity uh, i got beans yeah. and the woman beside me goes is that a chinese crested and i go partially she goes they're the best in the world the no universe way- the universe is really screaming at you also i hadn't uploaded an instagram in like a month yeah the one before my most recent one at that point yeah I was wearing a Batman shirt because I want his prints in the Batman shirt. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, mean, I mean, this was all planned. <laughs> this was, this was your fate, your destiny. All of it was right there. Ah. <laughs> but so anyway, I get there and it's like your classic. It's everything I love about a small town parade. You yeah. know, it's just really janky floats where it'll be like, yeah. you know, little cheerleaders go by. There was like a karate dojo where they were. The kids were breaking boards. Yes. Which yes. was, I was like, as a Cobra Kai fan, I was like, more of this! That is so impressive to me. I don't yeah. know how anyone does it, let alone children. Well, I did it one time when I did the Taekwondo summer. Yeah. I at, The summer The Matrix came out, me and my stepmom took a Taekwondo class. Yeah. And you had to break it at the end. And everyone did it, like old people, young oh, people. So and it took me four tries. I had to ice my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I had to go last again after icing it and like everyone in the next like purple belt class is lined up and I'm like throbbing (laughs) 16 years old. But anyway, I loved it. And even like like the dojo, what is what are they called? Sensei. Yeah. Was like, yeah. And like there was like a grown up older student and she was like, hey, mom. And like he was like, get up here. And like she ran and he was like, do it. She's like, I can't still do it. He's like, do it. And she broke the board and everyone cheered. And this wasn't planned. No. so fun they, she just like waved at him he was like get your butt up here <laughs> um, that's great but there was just you know like the random floats of you know the two cool like you know sixth grade football team and yeah. then you see like the little girls at the parade who like know them and they're like oh my god it's timmy oh my god yeah. it's timmy Be he's cool. about to float by he's about to float by <laughs> just throwing candy but like these kids were going crazy for candy. Yeah. Because that's all you do. You get candy thrown at you. It's interactive. Yeah. But the first person that goes by, they f- they threw out um, a couple different things. And one of them, you know those like light up things that look like tassels? Yeah. They're like fiber octave or whatever. That's exactly the word. I could not remember. Yeah. So one lands and it lands by Ashley's son. Mm-hmm. But beside us is a little girl who's not paying attention to the parade at all. She's probably like three. Okay. A very aggressive aunt <laughs> and then like the grandma right mm-hmm. so the aunt has taken it upon herself she's in like spandex shorts and like a and like a sweatshirt yeah that she's gonna be the candy getter for the little girl okay right got it got it, got it. yeah um she's so the muscle yeah she's the muscle yeah. the little girl doesn't care the Can't little girl shit. is eating grass and picking her nose yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. could not give a <laughs> fuck <laughs> sound gooses every day yeah Yeah. exactly (laughs) so anyway so first that comes that lands and like the ant goes for it right okay and little boone grabs it the little boy yeah yeah, my friend's little boy and and he's like oh cool you know he loves it (laughs) and this woman looks pissed right Uh oh so this is setting a competition yeah so ashley my friend walks up to her and she and she comes back and she's like, you're not going to believe what just happened. I go, what? She goes, I went up to her and like we're whispering because we're two feet away from each other. She goes, I went up to her and was like, did he take that out of your hand? Because if so, I will make him give it back and apologize right yeah. now. Yeah. 
And the so woman, nice of her. The, I know. Does not need to do that no. the, to a grown ass yeah, woman. It's a dollar store toy. Right? <laughs> the woman goes, no, he didn't take it out of my hand. And she goes, oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. And she goes, but it is her first parade. So, yes, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> she. <laughs> Weird. So. I go, wait, he didn't take it from her. He rightfully got it. And her nieces have it at her first parade so she'd appreciate it if y- you took the toy from your son and gave it to her? And who's learning what lesson? Right? I was, me and Ashley were like appalled. So we're, I'm just like watching her out of the corner of my eye the whole time. By the way, I did vlog this. I'm going to put it on, um, okay. in, on our Patreon. And this woman is ruthless. So they tell like all the kids, they're like, you can't go past this line, which right. is basically like, the parking spot line because okay. they were on the street. Yeah. So we're a parking spot. They're like, don't go past it. And this woman is walking up to floats <laughs> and pointing at her niece and going, come on. <laughs> Get me away. Floats that aren't even throwing anything. Well, that's, well, that's another thing that shocked me. I hadn't been to a parade in forever. Like ours was always candy and. I get it that like floats are to promote businesses. There are lots of insurance yeah. floats. There were lots of this and that. They they were flowing out. I wrote it down. Someone threw out frisbees. There were um, full just plastic cups. Like at one point, I was like, "What is that noise? <laughs> Why does it sound like pitch perfect?" And yeah. it was just cups just <laughs> fl- just fl- just being tossed onto the ground. There were there were there were koozies. They're like just what? handing kid koozies. See, I everything even, is promotional now. I barely remember candy really? being thrown out at parades. Oh. So when you say that, I'm like, I never really had that. I had that maybe minorly at like a Christmas parade or something, but not to the point that like that's a core memory that parades are equivalent to candy being thrown i don't oh. that doesn't register for me so oh it was crazy the fact that now they've leveled up that we're giving a little bit of basically Merch. it's every arcade prize that you well, could win no the thing is is it's just advertising right so, so it's like company logos on everything yeah, yeah so it's just like cool what it, why does this kid yeah why does this kid it need a like new a insurance cup from company. remax yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, the local ambulance like, chasers gave us a frisbee yeah. awesome. we were like oh, just give us more reese's cups yeah like where is that but this woman i mean like she didn't get a frisbee the first time oh shit then another float went by with a frisbee she walked up to it and tapped someone and was like <laughs> my knees and i was just like what is wrong with this woman right so at one point <laughs> She sits down and the grandma gets up to do it. Yeah. She like takes a breather. I wrote it down. I heard her go for, and the cops yelled at her every time the cops went by. And the, and, and she I was gonna say, is anyone yeah. putting her back in her seat? Cause she is not serving as a good example no. to the children. No, the fire truck was like, ma'am, you need to back off. And she was like, my niece, it's her first parade. Is that your niece? Can we check if that's her actual niece? I know, the niece is asleep at this point. And so I see, <laughs> so the grandma's- Cabbage Patch Kid doll. Right, and, right? Just- and she had so much candy. It could have been a trash bag, right? <laughs> so then I see the grandma- Candy, you know, it scatters. It scatters at your feet. The grandma goes to get it, but the kids are like too fast. And it was like blow pops or something good, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, th- we're not talking fruit Tootsie Rolls. Right, right, right. We're talking the good, not mini candy canes. Fuck those yeah, things. Yeah. They're already broken by the time they hit the ground. Yeah, it's <laughs> just <laughs> dust. No one Here's wants a those. a packet of minty dust. Right? <laughs> no one wants those. But so uh, grandma can't get it. You know, she's slow. Oh, the no. woman from the camping chair goes, Mom, you got to be ruthless. Go. <laughs> As the mom hobbles back, and I quote, I got a bad leg. <laughs> so they're tag teaming. Just this trying to usurp the children and get the candy for a niece that could give a shit. Could give a shit. Wow. She's yelling at her mother. Tells her to be ruthless probably four times. And then wow. she was just like, I, I got a bad leg. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> so she tags back in, you know, and like full, like, re- full, like, what Oakley's like full Oakley's because we're we picked the side of the parade where we're staring directly into the sun you can't even see anything and all of a sudden we get we get handed out like it wasn't like a throw thing there's someone walking by do 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 and they hand they they're handing out things for their float Ashley hands me something we go what is this what is this it's in a ziploc bag we're like is this fudge it was a barbecue rib (laughs) I saw this on your story it was I am I have so many questions who who was giving this out? Well, that's the thing. And it, there was from what your story showed, 
no advertising. There were no advertising. There was no advertising at it at all. Um, all I thought is town of Belmont breaks out with food poisoning. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just like, you're telling me I'm supposed to eat this random ass rib. <laughs> There's not a sticker on it that says, like, come on down to Dickie's barbecue pit. Right. Nothing. And then I look up and there's two people eating it beside me. Right. And and they're like, it's a pretty good rib. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I, and and I was like, not a fork or nothing. They go, no, they handed us wet wipes. So I'm assuming the wet wipe maybe had some advertising on it. It was not thought through. I said, I don't know who handed me that. I don't know why they <laughs> handed me that. What if that was the best rib anyone's tasted and they don't know where to get it? Right. Right. Because that's best case scenario is it's delicious. And I don't know what or who I should thank for this. Right. Worst case is. I'm in the hospital and I don't know who to blame. <laughs> exactly. And all I know is that homegirl beside us did not get a rib. Oh, no. And she's bitching and she sees me. And as she's watching me, I look up at the nice people to our right and I go, was it good? And they go, yeah. And I go, well, I'm vegetarian. Take mine. <laughs> like in, in this woman's face. Right. <laughs> And the guy already has like five ribs. He goes, I'm going to have a whole rack by the end of this thing. <laughs> and I was just like, that's what you get, bitch. Uh, you could have had my rib. We could have been. Co- this could have been some Adam and Eve shit. Yeah. And you had to. Well, wow. You had to be all s- snotty about like, well, you know, I'd appreciate that. It's her. And first also par- just first throwing, not- your, throwing your mom to the wolves and Who's criticizing her physical ability to keep up with children who's got a bad leg <laughs> yeah no i was just like i don't remember my first parade no i didn't give a fuck yeah but so anyway it was wild but the whole thing in general you know we got to see like the beauty queens and their and their <laughs> miatas and we got to see just so many cop cars some people though it was just like cool you have an suv with a happy holidays magnet on it right like, are you just trying to get through traffic that's i know that's just <laughs> someone looking for a place to park that's we did get a, a few messages of potential parades yes to build out a float for in Exciting. the upcoming year so i think we should do it i mean i don't know the first thing clearly i'm telling you my experience of parades is hardly candy being thrown mm. so i'm happy to support this goal um we gotta I just don't do know it the first thing look i'll figure it out i'll organize you know it was a, it was a two and a half year journey for yeah. ugliest dog I know. I think we can get in a parade. Yeah, I think we can too. I mean, it sounds like a couple of them sounded very fun and yes. very uh, chill. So that would be fun to investigate. Woohoo! But so anyway, shout out to Belmont Christmas Parade. If you know, <laughs> if you're from this area, because a p- couple people DM'd me and was like, you were just at my hometown's parade. If you know who hands out the ribs... Yeah. Please, please let me know. Yeah, because apparently the crowd says they were delicious. They loved them. Who knows? They loved them. Gifting is hard. Bombas makes it easy with socks, underwear, and t-shirts that feel good and do good. They feel good because they're thoughtfully designed with the softest materials, and then they do good because for every item you purchase, Bombas donates another to someone in need. You guys, Bombas are the perfect gift. I know, like, back in the day, it was a stereotype in movies and stuff for kids to unwrap their gifts and be like, thanks for the socks, girl grandma but literally bombas is all i want for christmas they feel like a warm hug to the arch of my achy little feet i adore them they've got socks underwear t-shirts and slippers that are cozy upgrades to everyday basics and the perfect gift for everyone on your list including yourself because they use premium materials like pima cotton and ultra soft never itchy merino wool their sherpa linings make their slippers so fuzzy and of course with bombas they're always coming out with some hot new looks so they've got their holiday collection that puts a modern twist on traditional festive colors and designs there's rich purples and greens geometric snowflake designs sweater inspired textures and you know my fave retro ski patterns with family sets you can match your family and friends in exceptional comfort and style hello cute adorable photo in front of the tree and matching outfits and did you know that socks underwear and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items in homeless shelters well they are and that's why bombas donates one item for every item you 
buy. So far, Bombas has donated over 75 million items of clothing. You guys, that's a whole lot of comfort and a whole lot of good. So give the good this holiday season with Bombas. Go to bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash TMGW with code TMGW for 20% off. Bombas.com slash TMGW code TMGW. Speaking of food. Yeah. I was thinking, well, one, I found like three different stories this week of okay. like crazy food shenanigans happening um, with celebrities or companies. Um, oh, like collabos? Yeah. That I'm thinking, I feel like, you know, we have Critter Corner. I feel like we need a segment on the podcast that is dedicated to weird food anomalies. Okay. Out in pop culture that okay. we comment on mm-hmm. and i kind of want to put a call to action to the audience to send us potential names, names. okay for something like this like my, i corner. was already i had a whole other dialogue trying to think upon so i <laughs> like the idea I, I sat for a second to think about them earlier today and then i was like i, I gotta I like the culinary cabinet let me the, outsource uh, <laughs> the, ta- the tasty i don't know well because okay i was like back to back looking up stories and first of all have you seen the Lindsay lohan and pepsi ads yeah, she puts milk in Pepsi. And it's called Pilk. Is this a real... De- this sounds like something a British person would do. I don't know if it's for real. I feel like this is like, uh-uh. is this a Mean Girls reference? Is it some kind of reference? I don't but think so. it's literally her... <laughs> I watched the video earlier of her being like, uh, that's nice. And then putting in the uh, pouring Pepsi into a glass, pouring milk in and saying that's Weird. naughty. And then oh. saying that's a dirty soda or something at the end. A dirty soda. <laughs> it's so strange. And she goes, nice or naughty, Pepsi, let's make pilk and cookies happen. And I do not understand if this is sincere or not, nor have I tried it. Uh, she Yeah, she says... Um, it's their take on the dirty soda. So I don't know where dirty soda needed a take. <laughs> Here's my question. Will you try it oh, wait, for it's the sake TikTok of science? Thing. Of course, yeah. Oh, um, I won't. I won't. The dirty soda, a popular drink on TikTok. Oh. oh. Okay. So everyone, everything always comes back to TikTok everyone. at this point. Mm-hmm. But then on top of that, there's now Hellman's mayonnaise is trying is like hooked up with a mixologist no, to this is my nightmare yeah to make um hellman's eggnog so they're asking you to put mayo no! in your eggnog i'm gonna throw up well because it's i guess egg related working in collaboration with mixologist cody goldstein uh hellman's created the frozen mayo nog and snickerdoodle mayo cookie billed as a quote unexpected new cocktail and dessert pairing and said to be quote inspired by the classic holiday tradition of milk and cookies so it's a frozen mayo nog completely swaps out the egg for mayo mixing dark rum apple brandy whole milk heavy cream simple syrup vanilla nutmeg and cinnamon with a quarter cup quarter of cup. hellman's mayonnaise per three serving batch and then you toss it all into a blender and you blend until it's smooth <laughs> what is who's what's the name of the guy who created it it's hellman's uh mayonnaise and it's uh Mixologist. cody goldstein in the, of hospitality company muddling memories in the words of wendy williams death to all of them <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking gross. I, but I mean, I guess it just substitutes the ugh. Ugh. It's um. No. Oh yeah, they have it poured over a stack of pancakes as well. Um. Yeah, we're. Oh. I'm not an eggnog girl, but oh, I no, am. I'm sorry. The Snickerdoodle cookies that they made with Hellman's as well. I guess. Well, I know they'll put mayonnaise and things like in lieu of fat of other stuff, but like right, an actual cocktail. Yeah. You've ruined Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is as like, far as I can tell. This is um, a boozy, like it's a frozen fail. eggnog smoothie situation that looks. I I mean, if I was given this without knowing that I had mayonnaise in it, and I would probably think it's delicious, but it's just like some sort of I I can't the psychological dissonance. I can't like yeah. separate the two of them. Wow. I'm going to I'm going to have to men in black myself. Right. I know. So, um, so nasty. But I just it also just feels like this is happening it's more and more. Everyone is just trying to out weird each other with food combinations it's lately. So gross. Speaking of gross. Yeah. I do have a critter corner. Yeah. 
girl. Oh, I came back from North Carolina mm-hmm. and we'd been back like a day and then I well like an overnight and the next yeah. day Chip was like our hot water isn't working. It's not getting hot. And I was like, oh, OK, let me um, let me text our landlord. And he yeah. was like, oh, I'm not going to be home till later. You probably just need to like unplug and replug in your water here yeah. like whatever so i went back there did it didn't work i'm I'm like maybe i have to flip the breaker which is on our in our back deck yeah right so i'm back there i pull it up i'm flipping things i'm doing my thing and then i look behind me and i make eye contact with a huge bird in my yard uh-huh. and i go that's a fucking hawk oh yeah we have a bunch of them right now and it's staring at but me in your yard Six feet away from me. <gasps> it's staring at me. And I go, that's a hawk. My eyes go down. And that's a dead rat. Oh, shit. This motherfucker had <gasps> caught a rat, then came to our enclosed yard for private, for Eating. mukbanging by himself. Who knows right? how long he's been doing this while you guys were gone. I'm so pissed. So anyway, I mean, like, I'm glad he's, sorry, guys. I'm glad he's getting the rats, but yeah. I don't need him. I don't need him <laughs> packing a lunch and bringing it to my yard. Like, if he had... <laughs> first of all i went inside and then over the course of the next hour watched him completely <gasps> disembowel and decapitate this oh fucking my rat God, i've never seen it was crazy the hawks that close wow. it was like he was pulling like a magician pulling out scarves to oh. like the intestines it was oh. it was a lot i mean it made me i immediately bought one of those spiky vests for beans yeah i gotta get you, one for larry you David. gotta get one for larry because his skin looks uh, like he's sashimi you got twice as much uh <laughs> potential of these hawks now so i was just like oh my god nature is savage it is yeah. like this shit is crazy i mean luckily he took it with him and he only left like a little guts and yeah. and and uh, chip uh, thank god cleaned it up yeah but i was like oh yeah we're we're doing hawks in my backyard now? Yeah, we have two of them that were Hi, flying. Hi, Randy. Yeah, we were, there were two flying around our house the other day, and I was, like, videoing them, and then they got, like, really close to me, and I was like, I'm people, I'm people, I don't like this. No. I went inside, but our neighborhood is now, like, coyotes are yep. crazy right now, oh, so I was no. going to tell you, get those vests for those Why pups. Do, I have two skin chickens. Yeah, you do. Unleashes. You, you have two <laughs> little, little raw plucked. chicken breasts on legs. Just flopping around. <laughs> flopping around. Just two chicken breasts <laughs> with four chopsticks. Just each. advertising themselves everywhere they go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, on my flight back mm-hmm. uh, from North Carolina, I was in, like, I had my little, you know, the beans. Which, by the way, that's another DM I got. of like, how are you going to sneak two dogs onto planes? That's chips responsibility is yeah. how to get larry yeah, you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. i'm i've got the beans <laughs> you've got your system yeah i'm not i'm not taking two dogs putting like one under a jamiroquois hat <laughs> one pretending to be pregnant <laughs> i'm just gonna get you a dog carrier pregnancy yes. belly i love it or one of those wine racks we used to wear yeah so anyway i'm sitting i'm delta comfort there's like no one between me and the other guy and i'm like yeah 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 and then someone comes really last minute like they're late yeah like they were like the plane was holding for them yeah and this woman comes on she's got on a mask and you know you just tell when someone's rich i was like your hair looks great yeah you smell great your makeup's perfect your bag you wouldn't even like put it up there and you've got on like a leather trench yeah like if your bag got pulled over at tsa you're not worried about what they're gonna find in there no whereas that's i've only ever been worried about my bag being looked at at tsa because i don't know what the fuck's in there oh let me tell you by the way a little sidebar real quick (laughs) yeah so when i was out of town i think i told you I left and then my stepmom was going to stay here for yeah. like uh, three or four days. So I got a, a lovely cleaning gal to come clean up. Mm-hmm. Um, so it would be clean when she got here. Did Not realizing I get home and it's like left us a bottle of champagne and like thanking Aww. us for the stay and everything. And then I go into the bedroom. The cleaning lady had found two bottles of lube underneath the bed <laughs> and put it on the bedside table. <laughs> my stepmother. I was like, why did you sleep on the couch, Anne? I told you the sheets were clean. She walked in and there were two bottles of lube on my bedside table. (laughs) To my minister stepmother. Just purple Astro Glide. I texted her. I go, thank you so much for the champagne. (laughs) I said, I said, I said that was so unnecessary. What was also unnecessary was the cleaning lady leaving two bottles of lube she found under the bed on the bedside table. And Anne just gave a winky face and says, and I said nothing. (laughs) She was going to go to her grave. She was going to let it just ride. 
Oh, so it killed me. So anyway, uh, but I'm on it and I'm like, this person sits down and they're like very sweet. And um, and I'm like tr- trying so hard to be like, I got it. This person's got to be famous or something yeah. like no one just is they're just this, put together no in a way that's together. elevated. Yeah. yeah. Like something's happening. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to see when they get on their Instagram. Yeah. Like that's when I'll get it. And then the fucking uh, flight attendant comes on and is like, we're really sorry, guys. No the Wi-Fi. whole entertainment system is down. There won't be any Wi-Fi. There's no TVs and the outlets don't work. Right. <laughs> she got there right before that happened. Oh, no. So I see her on Instagram. I can't see it. And then I see her like phones on red. I see her go to plug it in. I go. It's yeah, none of it works. It sucks, whatever. But anyway, I'm listening to her talk. She orders mm-hmm. the champagne. We both we order we order like the same thing. We're like, let's see champagnes, I'll sun chips, pistachios, like we're doing it. And I go, that I know that voice. She pulls out her mouth. It's Tessa Thompson. Ah, really? <laughs> it's Tessa Thompson from Thor from a million things. Yeah, that seems like the coolest human ever. She's I mean like total girl crush. Yeah. And she is so nice to oh, everyone cool. and whatever and you know just does it while she's doing it and I go yep check that's who I kind of thought it was but ah. was like there's no way she's in Delta Comfort she clearly got on the flight last minute yeah, yeah, yeah. and so then I have Beans under there and Beans does a little twirly twirl first of all like so, sorry this is turning into page six she worked on a script writing notes on a script and then pulling out her laptop and writing a script the whole time wow cool I was like getting kind of drunk and watching you know <laughs> yeah, episodes like, this is what I, I do this sometimes too just not right now <laughs> i know i was like my bag's up there because i snuck on a dog or i would also be working i also have a script to work on um but i was like oh work ethic yeah Fucking. but anyway beans turns around is facing her the little head pops up so i just i just knock on her shoulder I go I just want to give you a heads up about this so you don't like turn around and think there's a rat in my lap and she was like oh my god an angel can I pet it Uh, and she was just so uh, freaking nice that's awesome like when we were getting off the plane she was like asking people like is your bag up there you want me to grab it like like, full mask like like, not because she's being recognized right like so sweet and then I looked up and she was leaving that was from Atlanta because she was down there canvassing for Warnock with America Ferreira she's so cool anyway I wanted to give a shout out because I was like that's the nicest celebrity I've ever met. Cool. She Very was so cool. nice. Oh, but speaking of celebrities, one more thing. Which, okay. of course, is, is just a Mary Curveball. Yeah. Which that's the my, third thing people have been asking me. So that was my question to you over the yeah. weekend. I said, does Mary know Mary? about Larry? Does Mary know about Larry? The Mary-Larry meeting will happen soon because Mary has been texting me saying, as soon as you're back, please come over. Because she really, yeah. she goes hard in the paint on decorations in her apartment. Aww. Full and also, this is like a long time without beans. A long time. Yeah. yeah. She's fiending for a bean. But so, I mean, she goes crazy. Like she has a mannequin and like, you know, like an 80s, <laughs> like white mannequin that she dresses up for each holiday. Oh, that's great. It's a whole vibe. So she's like, I need you to come see the Christmas decorations. It's important to me. I go, yeah. of course I will. Um, just like, give me a second. So I'm, but I want Mary to meet Larry in person. Yeah. Instead of, because you saw how sweet Larry is. Yeah. That I don't want her to immediately go. Beans of safety is right, right, in, right. The, in the balance. She's got to see that Beans is chill. Larry's chill. She doesn't need to yes. create a false narrative no. that Larry's encroaching on any sort of right? star territory. And it's also like you'll be watching the both of them yeah. maybe once a year when Chip and I both happen right. to be on a vacation together. Right, you know? right, right. But so anyway, she I'm on her listserv with as you can see you know she leaves the other people's emails yes, in yes, yes. Her, her 20 closest friends <laughs> and I just get r.i.p all that jazz but i just get a uh email with a title today that just says kirstie alley i can't believe it <laughs> so i know, I know. Okay. But, well, I can't. Okay. But, but then the body of the email just goes one of her pas was a client of mine a few years ago in fact i went to her yard sale at alley's estate got to see her giant lemur cage and bought a decorative plate for a dollar good times I'm like, that sentence is the fucking most passionate sentence I've ever read. I'm obsessed with it. Read it I again. Went, one of her PAs was a client of mine a few years ago. In fact, I went to a yard sale at Allie's estate, got to see her giant lemur cage, and bought a decorative plate for a dollar. Good times. <laughs> like, what was this day? She's got lemurs. Kirstie Alley's selling plates for, for a dollar. dollar. That's my biggest takeaway. It's like, I, you know what? Weirdly, the lemurs make sense to me. The selling decorative plates for a dollar. It seems like more work than it's worth. I know. But I guess a lemur is going to cost something. <laughs> got to 
to see her giant lemur cage, I'd be like, oh. you could have given me three million guesses. I don't, wouldn't have gotten there. And if you asked me, I got to see the cage of what animal, I would <laughs> <laughs> not, lemur would not be in my top 10 guests. <laughs> no. So I got that today and I was like, oh, this is going to be a sad one. And I was like, this is incredible. Ah. This is incredible. Yeah. Kirstie um, Alley loved lemurs. Okay, you know. So she has 14, or she had 14 in 2016. Very complex human being. 14 lemurs. So wow. anyway, I wow. thought I'd, I'd leave us on that. <laughs> no. Wow. Really, you know, that <laughs> is a weird thing to leave all of us with at the end of this. What well, started as such a joyful yeah. podcast. <laughs> Who's going to get the lemurs? 14 of them 14 i mean that's not 72 dogs like beans came from but, but i still feel like 14. one lemur is probably like one five le- dogs one lemur will do you <laughs> oh anyway i'm exhausted Ooh. grace Me too. i'm so happy we're back in the same room yeah this is Woo! so fun it's been so long oh man god damn oh, okay so uh, yeah if anyone knows uh, who throws out the ribs yes at the belmont christmas parade you let us know let us know and in the meantime we will research some where parades our parade for next year. Be. Yeah. And um and Whoop. I will put that vlog up on Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this got weird. Oh yeah.